Hi, this is Shambles Guru, and I'm in a, a secret location in uh, the United Kingdom. And this is Aiden. Hello. <laughs> that was a brilliant hello. And this is Aiden's mum. Hello. <laughs> I know where she gets it from now. <laughs> and they've both been really kind and uh, agreed to share some of their experiences because Aiden was diagnosed with. What did you. What did the doctor. Diet one. Type one. Type one. Type one diabetes, right? And how long ago was that? Four months. Four months already. Wow, has that gone quickly? So just before the summer holidays, because it's now the early September. In fact, you go back to school tomorrow. Is that right? Okay. So type 1 diabetes. How did you know you had it? Did you ha not have energy or feel tired? or? I knew I had diabetes because I, I noted the sugary water. What happened when you were at the dinosaur park? Oh, it started at a dinosaur. Really, I feel really, really sick. Didn't you? Really? You drank a lot, didn't you? Yeah. And you felt your heart really pump in, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. So one of the symptoms is you get very thirsty. Is that right? Yep. You get very thirsty <coughs> and your heart goes faster. And you had no energy. Is that right? No energy, did you? And you were weeing a lot as well, weren't you? So those are the symptoms, yeah? yeah. Anything, anything else that, that, that mum should look out for? Um, if I go low or high. He, he does get very dehydrated and his eyes become very sunken. Oh, well, eyes, so yeah, you can see it in the eyes too, right? Sunken. Yeah. Yep. And then we got you an appointment with the doctors, didn't you? Now, I don't know. We'll look, at, we'll look at these in a second. I don't know the difference between type 1 diabetes to and type 2, type two diabetes. I think from the research, what they've done, type 2 is more like obese, pregnancy, diabetes, um, elderly, when old age. Right, right, diabetes. right, right, right. Um, I think type 1 is more, you know, at a younger age, but then you've got it for life. So type 1 diabetes is not something that can be cured? No. It's what, something you've got not forever yet. now? Hopefully they might find a cure. I love that optimism. Yep. You're right, because medicine is doing a lot of stuff they now are. that you never thought they would be able to do. And it, it, cure, it, it, it might be the case. Aidan, I forgot to ask you, how old are you? Seven. Seven now. Okay. What did you think when you first got it? Were you angry or you think, no, it's just, I'm just not, what, you know, what, what did really, you think? Really, really, really low, down. Oh, it got you depressed, yeah? Yeah, I think it get me depressed too. Sad, okay. A bit sad and depressed. What do you feel now? Really good. Yeah? So I'm back home. Well, you look good. You look actually, you look the same to me as before. Five. five days I was in the doctor. Oh, you went to go to the hospital for five days. You spent two days in the high dependency unit, and what is a high dependency unit? Um, is it like because he was very very ill. Um. A class as, as a coma so like two days he was very ill and then the other two days he was in high dependency unit and then two days on just a normal ward but he didn't I, go into a coma yes for the two days he went into a coma yeah. you must have been but petrified it was awful you must have been was very so scary. frightened right yeah. but he, he looked very ill but thankfully now he's thank goodness he's for good. the yeah, yeah thank goodness for the medical facilities in exactly. the uk right yeah. Wow, goodness. Now, this is all new to me. That's why I wanted to do this. Um, <laughs> type 1 diabetes. Because you've got a whole lot of boxes and um, electronics <coughs> and stuff here. Aiden, can you tell me what some of these are? What well, is this? You can check your blood now if you want and show Uncle Chris how this, you do it. This is the checker. Yep. I like to call this some needles in there. Some. Do you yeah. use a new needle every time? or mm, Sometimes. You do? Okay. In here, do you have a counter. Thing. So every time he pricks his finger to check what um, is his blood, that will then go down to five. So right. when it goes down to zero, you just take that off. And put a new needle and in. And you just put one of them new things in. Yeah. So okay. how do you do your blood, Zayden? Okay. Well, this is called the um, powder. checker. It's because it checks your blood when you prick yep. yourself. Right. And this is the thing that sucks your blood up. Okay. Can we... Can we actually do it now? Yep. 
Why would you put that in like So you, you, is there a switch on switch for that? No. You have to switch it on, do you? Yeah. Once it goes in, like it automatically. The, and, then, oh, I see. and then we need a trick. <coughs> well, that was easy. Let me see. Is there a bit of blood there? Do you use the same finger every time? No, sometimes. Oh, oh yeah, I could see the, I could see it there. Slowly. Yeah. Come on. Come here, look. I'll do it. This hand, because that one's a bit. Here we go. So. So this is just a little needle there. that pricks the finger, right? Yeah. Does it have to be fingers? Yeah. I think some people can do toes, but. Right, and now you just touch the blood onto the end of that sort of <coughs> looks like a bit of litmus paper, but that shows my age. It's not, is it? Oh, 6.3! Yeah, let's have a look. Wait, wait. I can uh, I can see. 6.3 it says. So oh, what yeah. should you be? Oh, good question. Mm. What most people be? Five. Four. Four and... Six. Seven. Seven. Should be between four and seven. So that's good for today, right? What, what would you do if it was above seven? Um, if it's above seven, not too bad. Um, normally if it goes even higher, he will have a correction, which is he will have yes. his insulin and he'll have one unit of insulin for every yes. 10 he's over. Okay. So if he was 17, I'd then have to give him a unit of one insulin unit. to bring him back to where he should be. Okay, so over, you have to give insulin. What happens if it's <coughs> under... What was it? Between, between what and seven? Between three and seven, was it? No. Mm. Six and... <coughs> no, right, seven and four. Between four and seven. What do you have to do if it's below, seven, uh, below four? Uh, like... Do you um, have to eat more food? No, check for like a little If it's bit. below four. If, I'm really... uh, if it's below four, you should know this because you've been under four a long... lots. What's that over there? <clears throat> Take one of them out. This is called a gel. Oh, this is, is this like neat sugar? Yeah. Yeah? So if you're under four? We have the strange gel, oh, gel you... and it tastes like strawberry. Oh, you can get different flavours, that's brilliant. Yeah. I had the mint one. And then once you've had that, what happens? <clears throat> I'll go, start to go high. You'll go back in your range, but then mm. after 15 minutes, okay. we have to recheck your blood, well, and then you have to there. you have to be followed by something starch. So whether it's a glass of milk or a biscuit, and we find oat biscuits are a lot better. Right. And they they help more. Okay. So so, yep. what about then if you have to give yourself? So if it's below four, that's easy. You just have a sucker one of these. Test yourself again, and then a respond. Uh, have a biscuit or a glass of milk or yes. something like that. Yeah. This is but if you're over seven, you have to have a correction. And this is put that. Right. Yeah. Get this out. You can put one of them on. You don't have to inject yourself. But and then you this is. Oh, what is that? Just use that needle. It's fine. The needle. Yeah. You need to. Yeah. Put it in there when it's the needles on, and then you cut it. on the pen then. Sorry, there's then that. Oh, that breaks right. off the protection of the needle, yeah. doesn't it? Okay. And this is the needle. Right. right. What do you do? And then we put it on. Right. Girl and girl and girl. But you're not going. Are you going to do it now or not? No. no he's just just show pretend. How we would do it. Okay. Then. It's and Aiden, actually, when do you have to have the red pen? Oh. For mm, lunch, breakfast. breakfast, and dinner. Yeah, and then you have the blue pen for... For well, night time, it's right over So there. he injects four times a day, every day. Then, then and what do you have to do, Buffet? Say if you had your lunch ready, you put it to number... Oh, you put numbers on there. So that, yeah. that adjusts the amount... The, the amount. And then you need to, like, squirt it with yeah. a little water. So we always then you, know... Then you go to... Wait, what is it? Well, it depends once we've carb counted, don't we? Say what you're having for lunch. And then, when you're on the number, you had to stick it on your tummy bottom, and the night time one, you need to stick it on your leg. Right. You just squirt that out. So once and that's done... And then, we had to chop this off, we put that in there, and look. Uh, Tiny little okay. needle. And then, we, put, no, and then we get this. Can one needle be used multiple times then, when no. you chop that end off? No, no, you have to... You have to then discharge of it and put it in the yellow box. 
Uh, this safe. is for the recycling needles. Wait, do I put right. it the other way? Okay. Nah, that might hurt. That might hurt. And then it goes in. Don't full, shut the lid. It. Don't shut the lid because it'll close it. And then you oh, and you can't use open it. it again? <laughs> no. Oh, really? But when it's all full, you need to shut it. So nobody can open it by accident and get the needles. Show the blue pen. And next. So the difference between the red pen and the blue pen. The red pen is the, the one. The red you... pen's called the Nova Rapid, which he will have breakfast, lunch, and tea. Right. And um, the blue pen is called Livermere, and he has that. That's more like a long lasting, so he has that at night time. Oh, to last for the six hours of sleep or yeah, the seven, eight hours of sleep. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Do you do that yourself? No. Your mum does that one for you at no. night? No, dad does. Dad does that. Or mum. Next we have Oh, what this. are these? These are some more needles. Wait. Oh, okay, they're more needles. Then we have, this is like a little bit. It's a lovely machine. Oh, is that for okay. testing your blood sugar again? This is no. a ketones one. That's so if he goes really high for a, like a period of time, you then have to check the ketones. Yes. And uh, there's different levels, and if it's the thing? really high, you get them to hospital straight Where's away. The so you can't certain. you can't do anything for yeah, high ketones. Um, I'm not. Uh, ketones is a lot, you know, a bit different. But so how do you yeah. test the ketones? Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same as the. You just, we just have different strips. What yeah, you there. need more lot of blood than really the um, other one. Right. See, that only needed that. The other drop, one yeah. goes up to there. I understand. Okay. okay. And that's it of my diabetes. Much, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's that's brilliant. That's now you it. have. Hey, you. Oh, sorry. You. I was going to say, what else? What else did you get diagnosed with last November? <laughs> last November, we got diagnosed with mixed neurodevelopmental disorder which is, he's got ADHD, dyspraxia and Asperger's, and ASD, so with all that as well, he copes very, very well. Right. Sometimes he doesn't see the safety of the needles, and right. you do have to watch out, but you, you do very well, don't you? <clears throat> very well. Oh, that's amazing. You have, you have two brothers, don't you, Aidan? <clears throat> two brothers, <laughs> they're inside. Yeah, Watching. We, we're, we're hopefully trying to make them keep quiet inside. <laughs> What was, how did your brothers respond when they found out? They were really, really sad when I was at the doctors. They didn't even get to see me. They were sad, yeah. That's yeah, but good. But Valley come to see me, and then we went back home. Of course, didn't we? It's good they're sad. They, that means they they love you, right? That's they're really good brothers. Do yeah, they we know? They fight a lot. <laughs> all brothers all fight. Brothers all do. brothers fight a lot. Do they know how to do the, in, the injections and the testing? Do, do you teach? Uh, no, not mm. really. It's yeah. mine and hubby's job or his yeah. one day. Four times yep. a day? Yep. That's a lot. In fact, you, the tests are probably more than four times a day, I'm guessing. It can do. If he goes really high, he'll have to have corrections, yeah. um, which will then obviously add up. Um, checks his blood. Um, he did have a range of going really low at times which was quite upsetting because you think what you're doing is right but yeah. you never seem to feel like you're getting it right what were we having for dinner? <clears throat> food food? what kind of food? I don't know oh yes so can you still eat anything? yeah I can I only if I take my yeah, insulin uh, ok yeah. but, but you can eat anything? Yes. yes pretty much obviously a good diet is Go much better um, but they said never to you know discriminate them of what he eats Obviously, it's not going to be healthy if he sits there and has a chocolate bar. So right. We don't really have the chocolate in our house now. Yes. Ready to lock. Hey! Oh, so this is a tight one <laughs> diabetes new game with the equipment. <laughs> okay, that's very, <laughs> that's very imaginative. Uh, we could turn this in, we could make this into a commercial game. And how's school, Aiden? Oh, good point. I'm yes. Uh, Four times a day. How do you get on in school? What about Miss Sutton? She's not going to be. No, I know, but how was she when you were there? So did... She was very, very good. Yeah. Teachers were giving the shots? Yeah, lunchtime. And the yeah, testing? And testing and um, treating the lows, treating the highs, uh, learning. One second, darling. Um, fantastic. As That's you brilliant. Say, it's a big responsibility, but... Yeah. My arm. <laughs> so the teachers presumably get, get changed. Hey, now, what, one more question and then we finish, right? What? Let's do that. Let's what? do that. What? What? Okay. 
Now, you've, you've had type 1 diabetes for four months now, right? If somebody, some other s small boy, was to find out today that they had it, would you have any advice for them? What would, no advice? What, what, what would you say to them if they, they suddenly found out, oh, I've got this as well? Suck you! What? <laughs> what was that? What, what did you say about it? About people? Never let it stop you doing anything. That's what we tell I you, don't really it? say nothing. That's a great advice though. <laughs> because you can still do most of the things you were doing most before, right? Most things you can do, yeah. It might take a little, yeah. a little um, extra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let, let me ask the same. <laughs> It looks like uh, it doesn't doesn't make much much of a difference. Let me ask Mum one last question before before things get really <laughs> before things get really out of hand. Can I ask you the same question? If there's a, a new mum who's just found that, that their their son or daughter mm -hmm. has has it, it has this develops this, you don't catch it, do you? It just happens. No, it's not no. A, it's not a communicable disease. Hang on. What would your advice be to a parent? Don't feel isolated. Um, I felt quite alone to start with, um, felt like there was no one out there, um, but you know, lots of things on Facebook, lots yeah. of people on, you know, got their own pages and lots of mums out there who can just ask questions. Right. You use Facebook a lot, don't you? Is I it? do, yeah, there's a lot of people who put questions, answers, yeah. Yeah. feeling sad, feeling happy, um, you know, as, as you say, you know, especially for a child of a young age, it is hard to start with, there's a lot of learning and card counting, food before, mm -hmm. you know, knowing what they're going to eat and, um, you know, just don't ever let them feel that they can't do anything. Yeah. They still do whatever he wants to do and that's the main thing really. Yeah. As long as he knows in, in life he can still do, you know, he might have a few hiccups across and we'll hit the drinking stage later. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes. yeah, we'll yeah. get there when we get there. Right. But for now, he's being a typical seven-year-old boy, and that's and that, what I like to see. And that, and that's great. Yep. There's a mixed emotion, isn't there? There's a sadness, but life goes on, doesn't it? And you have exactly. to make the best of yeah, it. Yeah. And uh, what's on there? A bee? A wasp. A wasp. <laughs> Please get it off. Okay, that's that's brilliant, Bobby Joe. That's brilliant. Thank you for sharing, and uh, hopefully the advice will. Uh, relieve some other parents who see this in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this is one of the other brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. There we go. Thanks very much. Right. I'd better go get this one. That's good. <laughs>